This is Alan Olson's American Dreams, Keys to Life Success, where we talk about how to live the life that you want to live. What are your dreams? What do you want out of life? What defines success? So Nadine, with um, our economy out there, what, what do you think? You know, what do you think about Americans needing to do more with less? Well, you know, Alan, a lot, a lot of them are tightening their belts. You know, the economy has created ma a lot of unemployment. People having to look to uh, what they can do uh, to to tighten their belts, as well as to start a new business. Perhaps we've been talking about starting a new business and where to find financing and finding consulting. As a matter of fact, your your uh, company, Greenstein, Rogoff, Olson & Company, you look at people's projections. So if they have an idea and they they write projections three to five years out, um, something they could do. We had J.D. Vaughn here um, who also helps with consulting and starting a business. Do you think that's uh, that we're going to be seeing more of these business owners come out? Are people looking for jobs? What do you think? Is the future going to hold those trends? I, I, I think it's the, it never ceases to amaze me how creative individuals get. We had a guy last week who came to our office and says, I have a new company. And, uh, and he says, my company is based on, he says, Google Maps will take you from point A to point B to the building. He says, we'll take you inside the building. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> You're going to tell me what elevator button to push and where to... He says, you know, we'll have it mapped out where... You know, basically, people are within big campuses, and uh, which I thought was very interesting, very unique. It's a very laser focused, defined, you know, market. But nevertheless, it continues to evolve out there. Well, that's something that I would use because you're right. Find in campuses when you're in college campus, or you go to places where it's so large. Okay, they got you to the address, but now where do I find this suite or this location? So that's a great idea. You know, there's another area. The social media has just taken off. They say that there's a billion dollar, a billion people right now using the social media out there, and um, uh, you know, with with all the users out there, it's um, you know, it, it, it or something like it, that. Billion people may not be the exact statistic, but I believe it's seventy percent of the users on the web are currently using social media. So you have the companies like Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn's interesting. I, I have uh, probably about 700 users on LinkedIn. Right. And, and they come out, and, um, and I, I decided one day I was going to do a job posting for my company at right. gro groco.com. And I said, uh, you know, I wonder what happens. It's, uh, you know, like 300, 295 or something to put an ad up there. All of a sudden, within, you know, minutes, I was having these qualified resumes come through just by in that 700 uh, person network I had. Well, LinkedIn's a great place if you're looking for a job uh, to post your resume and network because nowadays, what, do, do we actually get any response when you send out a blind resume? Uh, you know, you don't know anyone in the, in the business, in the company. What's your chances of getting hired there, Alan? <laughs> that's, that's a real good point because I probably get in, well, in my inbox right now, I have 150 resumes and several of these are first in their class. But all I have is a piece of paper. I don't know who the person is, and I don't have time to follow up. Right, and the job market is just so packed that you most likely will know someone that can refer some, someone or someone you know firsthand that you could place in that job a lot quicker. Um, it it the, seems like the, the blind resume sending out is not the way that it's more net, networking to get into that job and to get placed. The, the personal introduction is definitely the edge. And I think that people who are out there in the market looking at doing their own business or getting back into the workforce, you know, should really think closely about that network. Who do they know that it can empower them and advance them in the cause that they're looking to accomplish? Right. And that goes back to finding the right consulting firms to help you get started. You know, individuals, I always think it's a good practice to predict where do you want to be three to five years from now. You're only going to be the age that you are one time in life. And uh, if you don't, if you don't plan life out, your life before you know it, you'll be back in the, the, the mid '80s, getting ready to go six feet under, and you'll say, "What have I done with my my time here?" That's it. You've nailed it on the head. So, well, very good, Nadine. It's a pleasure to having having you with me today, and um, and also for JD Vaughn for what we talked about earlier on uh, finding money in this broken economy. Pleasure being here. This is Alan Olson's American Dreams, the key to life success, where we talk about how to live the life that you want to live. 
What are your dreams? What do you want out of life? And what defines success? Stay tuned with us for next week's show where we'll be talking with uh, Randy Garner Prosper and his new book, How to Prosper in This Economy.